Okay, so I'm going to walk everyone through the process of starting up this projector. So this way you have no issues. You can always come back and refer to this. First off, down under here, there's a little switch. You just turn it up, and that'll light up. Start with that. I'll come over to the side of the projector here. Turn that on and wait for the little half moon to light up. Once that lights up, we're going to hold it down. We're going to hold it down until we see some blue lights pop up here. Then we can release it. Now it's loading up. Now on the front, on the far side, there's a little switch up here. And that will turn on your power for your speakers. So now that all that's done, come over here and take the remote. Turn on the monitor. One other thing is down in the bottom there, we could just see that the power just came on to that. We want to make sure we switch it over to movie. We'll just wait for this to load up along with the projector monitor. Takes a few minutes. All right, now that we're loaded up here, I'm gonna click out of that. So most likely the movie's already gonna be uploaded and ready to go, so just go to open, pick the movie you wanna watch, and see it pops up, it's already ready to go there. So now you come down over here, and hit playback. And the movie's ready to play. All you have to do is hit the play button. But first, actually we'll go over here. Screen's not down as you can see through there. Take the white remote, hit the down button, and we will see it come down. This has got to be the world's best remote. Come back over here, we're gonna go up and we're gonna turn lamp and drowser on. That's when you're ready to play the movie. Don't do it any earlier than that. And all we're going to do is come back down here. Hit the play button. It's going to load itself up. Just one second here. Alright, we got a glitch, good. You might run into this stuff, so I'm gonna pause it just for a second. I'll be right back and I'll explain how to fix this. So this popped up. You wanna abort it. You wanna eject it. Quit it. And give it a minute. So because it's glitching out, all I did was go down to the start menu and I went to shut down. Now, if that doesn't work, all you have to do is come back down to the bottom here, this little switch, hold it up until it shuts off. That's your computer shut off. It shut off there, no issues. I did just turn the lamp and drowser off. So I'm going to start it up again. <clears throat> I'll just start this back up once it's loaded. So what we're going to do is walk in through the shutdown process. As you've seen that Do Re Mi came up. 
If that pops up when you're shutting it down, that's okay. No issues. Just let it do its thing and it'll shut itself down. Just like that. Before I did that, I had to eject the movie. Actually, maybe I'll go back and do that over. Okay, so we're loaded back up again. And again, last time I made the mistake and put glass, which is expired, but I put the proper show this time. I'm just going to go to playback. I'm going to play it just to get it started up. I'd already shut off the lamp in the drowser. That's okay. I just want to make sure it starts up. Can you hear the sound? It starts up. We're going to hit the pause button. You have to hit eject. Once that's done, then you can exit out of it or quit. Come down to this left corner and log out. Let it run its course. If Dory Me pops up as it did before, just let it run its course and it'll shut itself down. So, I wait for this to shut down before I shut the rest of this down. Because they're all kind of intermingled. So I'm just going to wait a second. Let it do its thing. So I'll just pause it for a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that it's shut down, I'm gonna go through the process. Come over here. I'm gonna hold down the half moon so all the lights shut off. Okay. You can hear the fan going. You can hear the fan going. You wanna let it go until it shuts itself off. And then you click the button to turn it off. Then you come to the front, shut off that. And then last but not least, shut off that and you are good to go.